This is Rotarian Sanjay Dugar, your host for the Rotary Sunday series, where we bring in experienced leaders sharing their thoughts, their ideas, the way they have done things in the past so that you can excel in all that you do or lead. Thank you. This time around, I have our Chartered District Governor Uday Bhaskar with us from District 3191. Welcome to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, your reputation has been really wonderful, especially in the area of new generation projects. Can you tell us a little about it and what is it that you are so passionate about in new generation projects? The Rotary is continuously evolving. We want the new generation people to come and join Rotary to serve this society. When that is the case, they are no longer excited about what we have been doing until now. Even though it is very important to have uh, medical camps, dental camps, such things, but they are expecting something uh, bigger and better. That's why we need to we need to have new generation projects which may attract them, and also the society also needs new new solutions for new problems. Mm. That's an important point. New solutions for new problems. And uh, what words of advice from your experience would you like to share with our Rotary leaders? I am one of those per persons. I look out for something new. Something which makes a lot of social impact. One of the first things we have zeroed in on is next level cancer screening facility. Hmm. Cancer is such a problem by the time a patient comes to know that he has an issue by the time he reaches doctor he would have, he would have already been in stage 3 many times in stage 4 even though a lot of treatment has been given a lot of expensive uh, you know incurred most likely that the patient may not be able to survive the trick here is to detect the cancer in the very very early stages mm -hmm. that can give the medical fraternity a chance to treat the patient. So we have been able to sign an agreement with Karkinos mm -hmm. in Cochin. Right. Karkinos is a next generation cancer screening facility funded by Tata's, Reliance and a uh, lot more uh, corporates with a 200 crore facility in Cochin. They detect cancer in such an early stage which probably with the treatment a patient can survive successfully. What a wonderful thing. The Rotary initiates screening of people across the city of Bangalore and anywhere. Once screening is done, the samples are sent to Cochin. There, they will have the facility to check it up until once the patient is detected positive with a cancer, then they will also help the patient to get the treatment elsewhere. Wonderful. So it serves a purpose where people from different parts of the world can actually send the sample there and get it checked. Yeah. Now we have just signed an agreement for ourselves, for the whole of Bangalore and surrounding. We have brought the cost anywhere between from 20,000 to 2,000 rupees to start with, with a promise of about 1 lakh screenings. Because it's new generation, people are very skeptical to come forward and get themselves screened for cancer. Mm. Everybody thinks that they are in the best of health. <laughs> Absolutely. So it takes some time, you know, nudging for us to bring the people. Once it is, uh, you know, once they come, once the screening is done, we should see how to take it forward. Okay. Rotary's endeavor is to conduct the camps and bring the people. Karkinos with their equipment, they will come from Hyderabad and Cochin. They will do the screening and give us uh, the reports for us to take it further. Wonderful, great partnership there because Rotary does have that credibility to yeah. get people to accept getting screened in the yeah. first place. Yeah. So such projects, uh, how does it actually get conceived and executed? So this is a good question. See when the new opportunities come, we need to ev evaluate and see whether this can be taken it on the Rotary platform. I'm a basically a businessman, I'm good at conceiving and you know formatting it and taking it further. This came couple of years back. We did a lot of uh, um, thinking and met a lot of people. Fortunately, the CEO of Karkinos 
he is he comes from the same college as mine that made the things easier we spoke to people but it took me some time to convince people that this is what is the need of the hour off late on every other day we seem to hear somebody passing away because of the cancer somebody has been detected this is been a cause of cause of worry for all of us and i thought this is the next level screening probably would help all of us to pass over the problem of uh, cancer wonderful thoughts i think very well thought of uh, yes you are a businessman uh, but then the benefit to the society i think the way you put it across is amazing i'm sure that uh, other leaders who are especially watching this video they would learn from you they would use your experience and actually replicate what you are doing which means we can really scale fast in the way we help society uh, absolutely amazing uh, you know i would call them like pearls of wisdom thank you so much for sharing but just before we go any last comment or tip i, I that have you one of the, like? one more uh, sure happy to hear that one more next generation solution for a mm -hmm. uh, present day problem the next war is for water that's been said and uh, we see a severe shortage of water not only within the country even outside already few countries are fighting for water in and around bangalore we are not getting the cleanest of water the rvo water has got its own advantages and disadvantages with uh, double the amount of water going away as waste we have been able to tie up with uh, maitri consultants from hyderabad they have designed a machine called awg atmospheric water generation all you need to do is plug in and in the good air the machine would generate a clean beautiful uh, excellent drinking water fantastic it has got no no water connection absolutely nothing it gives a clean water which is better than probably the bottled water wow we plan to install such machines 100 such machines in uh, government schools this year and i've been talking about it for the last several months glad to say that we have been able to get a breakthrough and just recently we have issued a purchase order for 25 such machines wow. costing about a crore of rupees on an average 150 liters 150 liters per day machine costs about 4 lakhs 40000 rupees all inclusive all inclusive uh, it is inclusive of 18% gst 5 years uh, maintenance 5 years servicing 5 years spares absolutely no cost to anybody once we install we are talking to lot of uh, corporates to help us to install these machines in different schools wonderful and generating water from air so we can actually look forward to that because i'm sure it's going to be really sustainable as well uh, so that would be uh, something that and it sounds very new generation so thank you so much for sharing your projects it was really wonderful having you with us and uh, we look forward to other ideas and opportunities in a, at a later time thank you very much this is your host sanjay dugar signing off thank you thank you sanjay